This is the STS DSHK mount, otherwise known in the States as the Dishka mount. It's attached to a Mark 16 flower pot or stand to a Mark 16 tripod, creating the Mark 16 assembly. The next step will mount the DSHK into the mount. To mount the Dishka machine gun into the STS DSHK mount, remove the rear mounting pin, then place the machine gun front forward mounting lugs into the front locking portion of the mount. Once it's down, pull it slightly to the rear. From there, push down on the rear portion of the machine gun, take your rear mounting pin, push it through, and now you've mounted and locked the DSHK machine gun into the STS mount. On the left side of the weapon, you'll see the ammunition can bracket. Bring up the ammunition can, notice the grooves on either side, align them to the bracket, push them all the way down until it locks into place. From here, we'll open up the ammunition can, place the feedway all the way against the weapon system. Here I'll demonstrate how the ammunition aligns properly from the can to the weapon. Take the can lid, place it back down, lock it into place and you've mounted the ammunition can. Now we'll discuss the features of the STS DSHK machine gun mount. On the back side of the mount, you'll see a relief cut that allows access to the weapon's safety. Moving down on the back side, you'll see we have a stow bar that attaches to the rear portion of the mount. The forward portion has another relief cut, allowing you to use the auxiliary charging handle. On the forward portion of the mount, there's a depression stop. On the left side of the mount, you have a relief cut for the barrel locking pin. Here I'm going to demonstrate the use of the primary charging handle. We've preloaded the weapon system with dummy rounds. I'll grab the primary charging handle, pull it to the rear, push it forward. Next, I'm going to fire the weapon system with the dummy rounds. Here, we're going to demonstrate the use of the auxiliary charging port. I'm not going to use the auxiliary charging handle. I'm going to use a piece of DSHK brass. Insert that into the auxiliary charging handle port. Charge the weapon system to the rear. From there, I'm going to go ahead and remove the stow pin from the stow bar and show the ability now to move the weapon system and employ it, noting the depression stop. Here you have the STS DSHK machine gun mount attached to a universal pinnel adapter, also known as a UPA, with a T&E, traverse and elevation mechanism. These are both discussed in different videos but to show the ease of use and mobility, the weapon system, when moving left and right, has a friction adapter to lock it into place. For your elevation and depression, you can also lock that into place. And then your traverse and elevation mechanism on the back side will allow you to do the fine adjustments down, up, right, and left. Next, we're going to discuss mounting the STS DSHK machine gun mount to an M3 tripod. The first step is to remove the pintle reducer. On the left and right side of the pintle reducer is an Allen head screw. Slightly loosen those, which I've already done, and then remove the pintle reducer to expose the small pintle. From there, make sure the mount is unlocked. Pick up the DSHK mount. Drop it into the pinnel socket and lock it into place. Next, install your traverse and elevation mechanism. Place the T&E onto the traverse bar. Line up the top portion of the T&E to the mount. Insert the locking pin. And now you successfully installed the mount to an M3 tripod. Here, we've mounted 
the Dishka machine gun to the STS DSHK mount, which is attached to an M3 tripod. One last feature to point out is the brass deflector at the bottom of the mount. This deflects the brass when firing away from your hand when operating the T&E mechanism.